Hey. Hey. So, uh, what's the rush? Well, um, Ternitz is coming out soon. No, so I guess what you want to do is make a tutorial? Yep, definitely want to make a tutorial for these. Cool. It's going to be a mix of our products, uh, color primers especially, mm. uh, airbrush, a lot of airbrush, and then both regular wall paints and speed paint as well. Well, so yeah, let's see how fast we can paint. Yep. A bunch of them. <laughs> Cool. My idea with these are that we want some high contrast on each miniature and for this I'll start with the Chimera Red as it's a dark red and it will supplement the red wash that we'll use later, later mm. uh, really well. So. We don't spend too much time on this. Next there, we're touching up with the Baron Fish again. Uh, the idea is now that we want the red to be, you know, in the recesses. We'll lighten the skin a bit more, and then we're ready for the brush works. Okay. That's basically it for the air colors. But we need one step more, and this is actually really important. We need to give them some matte varnish because we need the surface to be uneven so that the speed paint will stick more to the surface. That's it. Now we're ready for some brushwork. Yay. Yep, 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 I'm done. Cool. No, I'm not done, I'm ready. <laughs> I'll put on some red tone and then some water. This is maybe 50-50 mix. And this will basically go on all of the parts uh, where we don't want the scales. If it pulls too much, I'll just use my finger to just rub some of it off. But as it's diluted, it should be fine. Ah, maybe here it's just... You see, we already have some pretty neat contrast and, and exciting surface on, on the model. I actually think that it's it, it takes me longer to assemble these than paint them. <laughs> we need to do the bases as well, so we might as well just... Hmm. Begin with those. There we go, and that was the first layer of the bases. You can take a break if you want. No, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll continue with the with the scales, scaly parts, and the claws. And I'm using uh, grim black speed paint for this yeah. and this is where the matte varnish really helps because it covers a lot more than what you normally see the speed paint will do almost like a normal black paint it just goes on a lot faster cool i'm always almost done with this one as well really yeah oh. so there we go, all the scales got a coat of grim black speed paint. And awesome. you can see because of the, the matte varnish that we gave it, that it's almost covered. You can see a, a bit of nuance to it. So this mm. will have to dry for, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. We'll give it a coat of varnish and then we'll jump on to the next part. Awesome. Cool. So, there's two different approaches that we can take on the scales now. Uh, Adam did a really good and cool thing 
where he just gave him a coat of gloss varnish because you didn't have this insect-like scale look. I want to take a, a bit different approach just to show, show something different and that's with the sponge. So I'll take a fairly dark uh, grey, a tiny grey and then I just, to begin with, quite careful, tap it on. This will work as both, you know, an extra effect on the, on the model, but also, you know, like a highlight on the black instead of spending a lot of time doing edge highlights. This needs to be fast, but also it kind of fits the, the gritty look of, of the rest of the paint job. Yeah, it looks more organic. Yeah, exactly. Now you have all the woods. <laughs> because I went to the university. Yeah. I'm a smart boy. I went to the university at one point as well. Yeah? Yeah, I had to pick up a friend. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, an okay layer. Mm. I'll uh, put on a bit more with a lighter grey. Next step would be the ash grey. Ash. Ash grey. Just to get a bit more contrast into the first layer as well. There we go. That was that step. I'm coming back to the red tone now. And this time I'll use it without putting any water in it. But you can mm. see some of the areas around here. Uh, where it goes from the black to the to the lighter ones, lighter areas. We want to create some more contrast on on those parts, like like this. And we'll just dab it on because it will keep to the organic feel of it. You know. So how long have we spent on these now? Uh, hour and a half. Hour and thirty eight minutes. I think. That's not bad. <laughs> up it's all going to help I'll just use some basing glue what kind of tough so I can't right? remember <laughs> honestly can't remember the, the name of it Mention we'll it, put it in it's, yeah yeah it's it's this kind of tough right there Um, so basically we want to make some of the parts more slimy or wet looking. So some of the areas where we used the last red wash, I want to dab some of this gloss varnish on top of it. Because um, contrast isn't just about colors, it's also so about texture. The contrast between the, the matte varnish that we gave it on top of the scales combined with the gloss varnish that we now have on will really, you know, make it look like we spend a lot more time on it. Should we try the, the last part, the, the thing? So I have this old brush that I cut in half and it's, the bristles are quite stiff. Slaughter it and dark wood and some gloss varnish. And we want to mix that. This is what we're looking for. And you can use it for blood spiral, but you can also use it as just that extra organic feel. But that's it. Awesome. This is ultra speed painting for armies and two hours and eight minutes. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad for something that looks this good. Take some pictures. I'll, yeah, borrow some of them, take some pictures. Uh, Make them look real nice. Look real nice.